Hey, welcome back. We're at 1 Samuel now in chapter 17, verses 1 to 3. Let's read it, then we'll talk about it together. Now the Philistines gathered their armies together to battle and were gathered at Socho, which belongs to Judah. And they encamped between Socho and Azekah in Ephes Damim. And Saul and the men of Israel were gathered together, and they encamped in the valley of Elah, and drew up in battle array against the Philistines. The Philistines stood on a mountain on one side, and Israel stood on a mountain on the other side with a valley between them. So we're just going to pause there for this morning and just take that. Here's the setup, you know. The Philistines have come out again. <laughs> They've come up and set up for war. The Hebrews have come out again. And they've set up for war. There they are on opposite sides, opposite hills with the valley in the middle. And they're ready to fight. But you know, isn't it interesting how they're kind of going to stand about here? And they're not they're not anxious to fight. They've gathered up. It's taken an enormous amount of, of energy and, and, you know, cost to get them there. But they're not anxious to fight each other. I think they're a little bit worried. I think the Philistines want to prevail over Israel. But they've got another plan we're going to see tomorrow morning. And the Hebrews are there. The Israelites are there. But, but they're not really that anxious to go out after them. There's some pretty big armies going on here, and there's a big, pretty high stakes, and they don't want to lose. Nobody wants to lose. So there's a there's a confrontation. There's a, a, a setup here for a giant conflict between the Philistines and Israel. Isn't that natural for us to, to fight with each other? I mean, we have the fallen nature. Uh, many of us would like to fight and prevail over, over the other people. I don't know why, but that's sort of part of what's going on. But what do we have here? The armies have come up for battle, but they are not engaging yet. Humans are not, we are not at our best when we're fighting. It's not the way God designed us. God designed us to be social persons, to be combined together, to to have peaceful relations with each other. In the Garden of Eden, look, there's, there's not any armies drawn up for battle. There's one intruder, and he provokes them to sin, and they, they manage to stupidly make the wrong decision and get into sin. So, but God's plan for humanity is not that we would be uh, big fighters, big warriors. God's plan for us isn't to be the excelling warriors, but in, in the media today, what? What are the heroes our children have? You know, the superheroes who are really good at punching people and, and using supposed powers and things against them. That's not the picture for humans. That is a, a, a twisted picture. Uh, being a superhero isn't the thing. Being a super soldier isn't the thing. And here, even though they're drawn up to battle, and there are times, there's a time for war and a time for peace, right? Ecclesiastes tells us that. But at the same time, war does hard things to us. It, it hardens people. It, it it takes away some of the, the, fine, the fine things. It reduces us. It changes our nature. It makes us less like God rather than more like God. So they're all gathered up. Why don't we just go ahead and go to the next step? Let's let's fight. But notice a couple things, and we're kind of getting ahead of the picture because tomorrow morning Goliath's going to come out, and David's not there yet. We're going to find out that David is God's chosen warrior, so, so it's not really God's plan for them to fight yet. So anyway, it turns out that the Hebrews aren't rushing out to fight, and the Philistines aren't really rushing out to fight because, hey, they've got their guy. We're going to meet him tomorrow morning. Uh, they've got a champion, but they're not that keen to fight, and the Hebrews... Don't know who their champion is. I guess Saul's the champion, but he's not that keen to fight either. So we'll learn more about that coming up. But we kind of wonder why they're gathered up here, but they're not rushing out to fight. And it's because God knows God is going to bring his champion at the right time. And David gets 40 days before he gets sent in, right? They're gathered up. And anyway, we're getting ahead of the story. May God be our leader and help us. Help us to know, have the right timing to fight his battles. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, many times we are ahead of you or we're far behind you, but we want to have your timing as we fight battles. And we ask for this help in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord, you know, help us to know when, not only how, uh, not only have the boldness to fight, but to know when, when and how to fight his battles and how to do that fighting in his way. May God be with you today in any battles that you must fight this day.